Um, hello, I'm from um, the United States. Um, so <clears throat> my question is, um, I've wanted to learn Lua for like a while, but like um, I've like been worried it would be like a little bit like too hard since it's like a high level coding and I've, since I'm only in the CS50 intro to computer science. So um, do you suggest I start looking into it or um, should I first get past the CS50 intro to computer science? Yeah, that's a really good question. I can perhaps answer that, um, if only because I've chatted so much with Colton Ogden, who teaches CS50's game class, which uses Lua throughout most of the semester. I think, honestly, you should never not learn something because you think you're not ready. Um, there is certainly no downside in simply trying. And then if you decide, wow, I really don't know what's going on, then maybe take a step back and fill in some of the gaps in your knowledge and learn some more of the fundamentals first. In general, I would say our advice is for students to finish taking CS50 or CS50X, if only because it is an introduction not only to computer science, but to procedural programming more generally. And as you know, uh, probably already, we introduced C and Python and JavaScript and SQL, all of which are representative of a certain type of language, very similar in spirit to Lua. But Lua is a language that indeed is a little higher level, and it has other features that some of those languages don't have. But we use Lua in Colton's games class because it's a wonderfully accessible language for implementing two-dimensional games. And by accessible, I mean relatively easy to understand. In fact, of all of the languages we use across CS50's courses, I actually am a big fan of the design and simplicity of Lua. Now, it does have certain features uh, it, like object orientation that we don't introduce in CS50. So there's still going to be a bit of a learning curve. But I think my best advice would be to never hesitate, honestly, to dive into something that seems of interest to you, especially if you feel you need a little bit of a break from CS50 or some other class. Um, you'll know if it's maybe too soon for you. Um, don't necessarily rely on others for that advice. There's, there should be nothing stopping you otherwise.